Purdue's big three of J.J., Smooge, and Lou Jack combined to score 47 of Purdue's 65. But the Boilers really got this one done on the defensive end, holding St. Peter's under 30% from the floor. Purdue also using size to its advantage, grabbing 43 boards to St. Peter's 28. Rob Blackman caught up with Matt Painter and Juwan Johnson after the game. You know, our guys are ready to play. I thought they did a good job on the defensive end. Um, I'm just getting into them, not letting them run their sets and uh, just be fluid in the half court. And then from a rebounding standpoint, we got off to a bad start first four or five minutes. But from then on, our guys did a great job. Obviously, Juwan um, had 16 rebounds. That definitely helped. But it might have been our best rebounding effort of the year. You know, we definitely wanted to, um, you know, redeem ourselves from when we lost to Iowa and Michigan State. And, uh, you know, not a better place to do it. Up next for Purdue, a round of 32 matchup against Virginia Commonwealth. The, Mer the Rams emerging from the first four where they knocked off USC to easily handle Georgetown on Friday. The winner of that one moves on to the Sweet 16 against either Florida State or Notre Dame. Well, VCU was quite impressive. That's going to be an interesting matchup on Sunday for Purdue. But let's talk about how they got there. What was the principal financial group key to the game for the Boilermakers? Uh, the key to the game was defensively. When they lost their last two games of the season, they gave up 70 points the first 30. They were giving up 60. This was a game, to me, that had to signify that Purdue and their defense was back. You see Lewis Jackson getting to the passing lane here, but also Travis Carroll getting on the floor, getting hustled. Jawan Johnson getting into the act a little bit here. Carroll also. These are the little things that this Purdue Boilermaker was accustomed to doing. If they want to win and get past the next round and get in further in the round, and into playing, defense has to be the key. Then the offense can follow after that. Uh, Rick mentioned in St. Peter shooting just 29.3% from the fields. The third opponent this year, Purdue has held under 30% from the field. They are awfully impressive defensively.